Hey, fast food restaurants, do better with science. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And happy spooky season. Ooh. Look at this set. Or don't. Don't turn around and it might scare you, Link. Oh, yeah, there's lots of... Oh, there's scary stuff over there. Yeah, there's freaking severed guessing. hands all over the place. There's heads in jars, including Mad Dog Lucas. Oy, oy, oy. He's... Man, it's... His head is expanded. He made quite the sacrifice for this set. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, for years, Link and I have tasted many strange food experiments whipped up by the mad scientists in the mythical kitchen, both good and bad. Yeah, our mouths have been both tortured and pleasured. But now I believe it's our duty, nay, our calling to bring weird food pairings that science has proven taste good to the people via your favorite fast food restaurant. Yep, we are gonna pleasure your mouth. I wish you would stop saying that. It's time for All Hallows Eve is Nigh and Things Could Get Horrific. Does that include fast food that got all scientific? It's scary research that uh -huh. has been done. Yes, in the book, The Flavor Matrix, Brooke Parkhurst and James Briscoe suggest wild and unexpected flavor combinations that, according to science, should be tasty. We've talked a little bit about this on the show before, putting things yep. that science says would be good together. Right. Uh, we've dipped our toe in the flavor matrix. Yes. But we haven't done it like this. The Mythical Kitchen has taken some of the oddest scientifically suggested flavor pairings and used them to create more interesting versions of classic fast food and a snack aisle dish. Hmm. And all of today's creations also serve as collab proposals. Yeah. Because if you big companies out there want to work together on actually mass producing what you see here today, well, we have got good news. We've asked the crew to go ahead and start working on your marketing campaigns, all right? Let's see what they've cooked up for the first one, which is for Shake Shack. Okay, sweetie, it's time to eat your fruit. No, it's time to eat your vegetables. No, he needs to eat his fruit so he can grow big and strong. No, you need to eat your vegetables to grow your big boy muscles. Fruit. Vegetables. Fruit. Vegetables. Fruit. Vegetables. Fruit. Vegetables. Now your kid can get a serving of vegetables and a serving of fruit in the new Shake Shack Strawberry Mushroom Burger. Science says they'll love it. Wow, there's all kinds of families. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Red and Dr. Link. Oh my goodness. It's me, your boy, and loyal servant, Eivor. Oh, is this <laughs> Eivor, the uh, Gen Z version of Igor from Frankenstein? Uh, it is, it is. I've got the uh, double mushroom, or double strawberry mushroom Swiss burger from Shake Shack. And did you guys know that strawberries and mushrooms share 43% of the same chemical makeup, the most notable being non one non and all, and... <laughs> oh. One non and all, not two non and all. No, 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 no. One non and all and methyl butanoate. So, I, I, of course, I knew that. You guys are so smart. Get back down there and crouch. All right. Oh, you just wanted to disappear into the. Oh, look, look. He did. He did it. He did a Gen Z dance as he melted away. Of course, he did. Now, Shake Shack already did a collaboration with Hot Ones. What? Yeah. They did? So I think that there's a there's a I mythical follow-up here, and that. this is it. So, oh gosh, what on the earth? So the, basically, a, the, it is, what are you taking it's off? It's a tomato. Oh, well. Drenched in strawberry. And this whole thing is a mushroom. Right, yep, yep, because they have a mushroom burger right. already. Which I've always been scared to order. I've Ooh, gotten it before. That is a lot. Hmm. Of strawberry. It's weirdly complimentary, though, isn't it? You like it? I do like it. I don't hate it. I mean, it's not as good as a burger. No. But you're already getting the mushroom burger. You know what I'm saying? You're already being like, well, I'm not getting a real burger. It's not bad. I think you could cut down on the sweetness a little bit. So okay. we're gonna we're gonna decide if this is a legitimate brand collab. Yeah. Or if it's back to the lab. I mean, first of all. I think the the commercial alone is enough to get me excited. I feel like um, it, sometimes it's all about the marketing, and if that's the quality of the commercial that's going to be going out on airwaves across yeah, America, then people are even if it sucks, people are going to be excited to eat it. I did wish I had two dads like did that. Did you see ex how excited 
the child David Hill was. <laughs> it, was that the facial expression? Ex excitement? So, I was disturbed. I think this could work though. I think it tastes good, I really do. I think that it you can taste the science in there. You can taste the collab uh, between strawberries and mushrooms. So, the Shake Shack Strawberry Mushroom Burger is a brand, brand collab. collab. Oh, he's having so much trouble. Hi, tired of trying to eat corn on the cob like a respectable human being? Tired of your friends and family calling you a corn on the slob? Don't you just wish there was a better way to do corn? Well, now there is. Corn on the cob is out. Refreshing, drinkable corn with a touch of sweetness is in. Wendy's Vanilla Corn Frosty. Try this, and you'll never want to touch another cob again. <laughs> oh. I'm hungry. Ivar! Oh, what's up, doctors? This is the Wendy's Vanilla Corn Frosty. And did you know that vanilla and corn share about 35% percent, percent, yeah, yeah, percent chemical yeah. compounds, with the most notable being octadecane and 4-hydroxybenzaldehyde. Oh, yeah. Very exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff. That, I, and there's actual corn in the bottom of this. Oh, there's corn. Right? I can feel it Trust down me, there. I made sure there was corn. Can I not go back to the hole? Oh, hurts. where do you want to go, Ivor? Well, just, I don't know, somewhere it hurts my knees. <laughs> okay. Okay, do a little dance away. Them Gen Z knees. As long right. as you give us your little dance. See you guys later. <laughs> Hold this L for me, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, man. He's cool. This should work. <laughs> and uh, Emily was windy. I it took me a little bit to I, figure that I out. I got it. I got and it. why does it say mom right there? Has it always said mom? It doesn't say mom. That's her collar and a, and a necklace. <laughs> but it certainly does look like mom and now I'm never gonna be able to unsee it. Certainly does. Hold on. So Dave's daughter was also his mom? I can't get this through the straw. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to use the, uh, yeah, the spoon. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I'm, tr I'm trying not to just have a, Reaction to the corn. Hey man, I want to. Hey I want to give it a chance. Practice safe spooning. <laughs> like I'm trying to think. Practice safe spooning. If I, <laughs> uh, I, I don't, I don't need to. I'm, I've had a, I've had a vasectomy. <laughs> and so if you, you don't, you don't have to do that anymore. This is not the best uh, way to. God. If you for a moment forget that you already know what corn tastes like. And it reminds you of all the other settings that you have corn in. And just think about it being a, a new flavor of something that you might get in like another country. I don't need any help with this. It's awesome. And I like chewing the the frozen kernels at the bottom. It's kind of like a boba experience. I, I mean, was a little bit scared at first. Like cor sweet cornbread, great thing. But I do 100% agree mm -hmm. that it tastes good. It really like, does. I don't, I I hate to say it, I feel like we might have to work on the ad a little bit. Yeah, we uh, gotta work because, on the ad. Because I feel like the just stacking just the raw c corn around it was a little bit of a turn off because it, it made me think of like fishing for brim as a child with corn, you know? But if you can just get somebody to taste this thing, I think it could definitely work. Yeah, just taste it. That's, that's gonna be the saying. Don't think about it, just taste it. Wendy's Vanilla Corn Frosty. Brand, Brand collaboration. collaboration. Okay, our next creation is specifically targeted at the corporate office of Popeye's Chicken. All right, Popeye. Let's see. Ak, the, ak, 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 ak. Listen up. Let's see the print ad that the crew has created. Oh, look at that. That is high fidelity. A chicken and a sandwich. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to its long lost flavor pairing, banana in our delicious new sandwich. That's a mouthful. And why is the <laughs> peel still on the chicken sandwich? Uh, for fiber, I guess. Uh, that, that's, it's not very appealing, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Are you supposed to? All right, Ivar, bring this thing in. And it, 
Is the peel part of the science? No, the peel is not part of the science, but this is Popeye's Chick Nana Sandwich. I know it is. Uh, I read the Bananas and chicken share about 28% of the same chemical compounds, with the most notable being piperonol and pepperoni? benzene. P not pepperoni. Okay. Um, piperonol. Piperonol. Do you want to know where I learned all these fun facts? From Joe. Who's Joe? Joe Mama! <laughs> As I was saying it, those, those, those Gen Z, they'll, they'll get you every time. Every time that you, they- We walk into their traps all the time. Every time they ask a question- It's a setup. It's a setup. For an they, insult. They don't wanna know anything. They don't wanna know anything. They know it all. They just wanna insult. So, do you think this is gonna work? Now, I like banana. I've never thought about it in this context, but I'm open, I'm definitely very open. I'm scared of the pickle. The pickle and, and the, the banana, banana is a little is a little odd. Right? I'm gonna try it without the pickle first. I'm going, I'm going in full full bore. It's not horrible. The banana banana's pretty subtle, especially if you get some pickle in your bite. I didn't get the pickle in my bite, and it's still okay. It adds a sweetness. I'm gonna put the pickle in the middle of my chicken sandwich, covered in nana. Hmm. You're gonna put the pickle in the middle of your chicken sandwich covered with nana? Yeah. I'm gonna put the pickle in the middle of my chicken sandwich covered in nana. The pickle in the middle of your covered <laughs> The pickle in the middle of your chicken sandwich covered in nana. Pickle in the middle of my chicken sandwich covered in nana. Sheesh. Hey! We got him, we drew him back in. I like it. It might just be because I really like chicken sandwiches. Yeah, the chicken sandwich is great. It's weird how I don't really taste a lot of the banana. It's just, it, it like just adds a a coalescence to it. So I think we could it's, add it's that, that to it's the- that crossover. To the marketing. Let's remove the Take peel. Take the peel off. And let's add the word coalescence. And it doesn't have to be spelled correctly. Um, but I do like, I do like the name. Yeah. Chick Nana. We need to put a few more fries and in the ad. This like a, somebody's Nana could be in the ad. And she's wearing a banana suit. Mm hmm So far we're doing really good. Thanks, science. Yes, yeah, so the Popeye's Chick Nana Sandwich is a brand, brand collab. Do you want the densest packaged party game on the market created by us? Yes, you do. It's Rhett and Link's We're Still Good. And just feel it. It is the densest I mean, it's out there. I don't want to party over promise. Game. It I mean, is it's very dense. full of cards pads, instructions, and happiness. And you know what? On Amazon, we're still good, held the number one hot new releases across all board, hot new release, <laughs> across all board games for three weeks, Link. Did wow. you hear about that? We held mm -hmm. that spot for three weeks. So uh, get some friends together, pick up your copy of We're Still Good, party game that laughs in the face of disaster from <laughs> Amazon.com. <laughs> I said Amazon.com. All right, our final creation turns an iconic Lil' Debbie creation on its head. Here's another print ad that the crew created for us. Lil' Debbie crab cherry, cherry fruit, fruit pie. pie. So crab cherry fruit pie. Oh gosh, for the uh, first time ever, Lil' Debbie has crabs. And uh, Celebrate with a crab cherry fruit pie. Oh, is, is the claw gonna be included? The claw has some <laughs> cherry juice dripping off of it that looks disturbingly like blood. Mm -hmm. Well, let's just see. Ivor, can you uh, bring us the crab cherry fruit pie? Oh, I totally forgot. He said he was gonna go do some fatty Vic Roy's. <laughs> okay. That's what it's like. That's the last. Well, that's I mean, the last thing he said when he went away. I talk, I forgot. This is a little Debbie snack, though. Oh, so. Oh yeah, we know who to call. Giant Deborah, hear our call. You are big and we are small. We hunger for your crabby treat. Your crab cherry pie is all we want to eat. We pledge our loyalty for all you do. Giant Deborah, please come through. Hey. Oh, hey. Leading with the feet this time. She's huh? back. You know what? Yeah. Last time we saw you, we were sucking your big toes. Yeah. Oh, I remember. 
That was a, that was good mythical evening. <laughs> good mythical evening. I've been, I've been trying to forget. It's it's that one part. of the few things that I pristinely remember. I've been in a better mood ever since. Yeah. yeah. Have you shaved your big toe? Because I would request that you do that. Because it's just like I just remember the feeling of. And now we're back. Uh, okay, so I just wanted to point this out. This is like one a little thing. Like, I, I, I <laughs> I'm speaking. It's okay. Let. Giant Red. Deborah, do her thing. <laughs> For the record, Giant Deborah does not have crabs. Oh. This treat is not crabby. I can't speak for little Debbie and what she's been up to, but these things, uh, I, you know, everyone, you're up to date on your chemistry, right? You know, like, cherry and crabs go together, right? No, we yeah, do not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you, I'd like for you to tell us. Talking to preschoolers. So they share 22% of their chemical compounds, crustaceans, specifically crabs and, yeah, that's my little hole. Uh, <laughs> crabs and cherries uh, share two ethanol, one hexanol, and one three dimethylbenzene. Oh, so, one three, huh? Yeah, one three dimethylbenzene. Oh, yeah. well, so I mean, science so should be good. It should, be, it should be good. Are yeah, you gonna stand good. here and watch us eat them? It's gonna be great. Well, do you guys want a little appetizer? Uh, no, I'm I'm actually you know very full right now on okay. toes. All right, I'll let you be. Yeah, you know, there's oh. a there's a fifty percent chance we would have done it again. Yeah, things are getting awkward between <clears throat> us and Deborah ever since that happened. You know, I am scared of this. I've never had anything sweet, like a sweet sauce on seafood that I can think of. You can do a sweet sauce on like pork, but you usually usually do something that's like creamy or savory with seafood. So right there in the middle, there's a, there's a lot of big flaky chunks of crab, so I'm going in for that. The first bite of crab is always a little bit shocking, even when it's not accompanied by cherries. The, the pastry part with the crab is fine. Oh gosh. Um, you know what? I'm really trying, dude. Not everything works. I'm really trying. I mean, what? we all can't be winners, Deborah. Um, two ethyl, one hexanol. I know. I'd ra I'd, ra I'd rather suck on the toes again, honestly. Uh, yeah, but I. Okay, you're the one who said it. But I've already done this, so I I'm not going to. I'm not. Going to. Okay, so we're saying the Little Debbie Crab Cherry Fruit Pie back, back to, to the, the lab. lab. But we were we were on a nice roll there where, I mean, the Shake Shack mushroom scared me, but that was just part of their menu. When you added the strawberry, yep. it got better. The vanilla corn frosty was a huge winner. Yes, it was, and what was the other thing? The Popeye's, Popeyes. banana chicken sandwich, the, na the uh, chick, chick nana sandwich. That was good. You like, those were all, all three very, very good. You know, three, three out of four ain't bad. Yeah, that's I better mean, than most scientists. Mythical is going to be doing collaborations with all types of people. Just when you call us. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Erica. I'm Brian. We're biology students at William and Mary. I research marine invertebrates. And I study yeast. And it's time. To, to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. mythicality. We almost called it the wheel of yeast. We got very close. Click the top link to watch us guess each state's most popular fast food restaurant in Good Mythical More. And we'll find out where the wheel's gonna land. Get some friends together and pick up your copy of We're Still Good, the party game that laughs in the face of disaster from Amazon.com.